Hi, my name is Kayla Myers. I'm a writer and teacher based in Austin, Texas, and the author of the Well-Trained Mind Press's forthcoming book, Who Said What? A Writer's Guide to Finding, Evaluating, Quoting, and Documenting Sources, and Avoiding Plagiarism. Now, this book channels my experience in over five years of teaching with the Well-Trained Mind Academy. One of the hardest lessons I see um, students face is the research process and completing um, thorough, well-sourced, and well-cited papers. So I've used the common questions that I've seen over these past five years, along with the pitfalls that I see a lot of students fall into, um, to help me structure this book. In particular, I think the first section kind of starts out in what might seem a pretty straightforward way, we start out by talking about how to find sources. Now, this might seem fairly straightforward and basic, but it's really not. Um, and especially now that students and teachers are moving a lot of their research to online, where there's fake news, where there's YouTube tutorials, and where there's breaking news on Twitter, students really need to be well equipped to know how to evaluate those new types of media. So in that first part, I explain how students can evaluate sources and also provide particular resources and tips for helping students figure out how to utilize this new media in their research papers. After that section, I walk them through how to cite the information that they do find from those sources. But one of the things that I see students really struggle with is the concept of common knowledge um, or understanding when they should or shouldn't cite information. So one of the ways I've used my experience is I've taken actual questions that students ask me each year in the section um, about common knowledge to help explain and break down that process. Another part of the book that I think is really essential is in the final part, part five, where I explain how students can incorporate direct quotations into their writing. Now, this also might seem fairly straightforward, right? If students can write sentences, shouldn't they be able to incorporate other people's words into their sentences? But it's actually really difficult, and knowing how to synthesize that information is kind of make or break for a research paper. So in that part, I provide examples and give explanation for how students can use other people's information from the sources that they found in their own writing to create a well-sourced, well-cited paper. All right, I hope you all find it to be a really helpful resource.